Oh. Oh. What's going on, guys? Still at this uh, bass hunt. Pretty cool spot we got here. We got three ponds. Got a really small one, a pretty big one, kind of like a small lake, and then a medium-sized one past that. So, just gonna go around and fish all of it to the best of my ability. It's a little windy. I'd really want to throw some top water here, but I'm not really sure how well that works in that choppy water. But we'll see. It's a bit of an opening here in the grass. So I'm definitely gonna fish this. Okay, knots holding up so far. Oh, I got slammed. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Typical, man. When you first cast that uh, plopper out, definitely let it sit for a good 10, 15 seconds because you might get slammed while you're sit just sitting around. What do we got here? Flip him in. Oh, a little bass. <sighs> All right, here comes the scary part. These dang treble hooks. Maybe if I grab the lure and hold it really tight. Okay, got the bass. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> you can't be worried throwing uh, <laughs> baits too big for bass, because look at that. This is a pretty this is a pretty large little bait here for this guy, but he had no trouble slurping it up. <sighs> First bass at this pond. I'll take it. And top water too. FG knot held up so far. That's, that's a good sign. I'm over like all that slop. That's not good. Oh, I got slammed again. <laughs> right in that same spot. I skim over the grass. Oh, baby, get out of that. Flip him in. Another little dink, but on the top water. Can't go wrong with that. Let's let him go. Oh, I have a fish on. <laughs> no way. On the wacky worm. Something really small. What the heck is this? The smallest bass possible on the wacky worm. Not surprised this guy passed the whopper plopper up. He's about the same size as it. 
Number three, um, like like this one's a that one's an actual dink. <laughs> I'm not sure what else to throw because there's so much grass. I kind of want to be on top of it. Eight, yeah, like half an hour. Holy crap, that scared me. Let's flip him over. Oh, this is not a bad bass. <sighs> I don't know if the camera even picked that up because it's so close to the shore. <laughs> this guy came up and just popped on it. All right, slow down, bud. Nope. All right. It's been like an hour and a half. Oh, that's kind of a fail. Give him a little water. It's been like an hour and a half since my last fish, but this guy just slammed my popper right at my whopper plopper right at the <laughs> right at the edge of the pond here. I'll take it. Get bigger, buddy. Let's go. Oh man, <laughs> we haven't caught a fish in so long. It feels good to finally get a hit. <sighs> Whopper Plopper 75, getting it done. Oh man. Man, has it been slow. Well guys, pretty uh, slow day of bass fishing. I think I caught like four, most of which were not very big, but you know, it's fun checking out a new spot. You know, I didn't get skunked. The issue with this spot is it's, just, it's so pressured, man. There's there were so many fishermen out and about, a lot of kids fishing. It's just not it's really not the best spot for uh, bass fishing. I bet there are some nice ones in there because these ponds are really big. There's a lot of bait fish around too, so it might be worth revisiting in the fall or something when there's less pressure and. Maybe the weeds are kind of cut back a little bit, but thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully I get on some more fish. Peace.